All right, what is up everybody? It has been a very long time since I've done another one of these. Yes, again, it has been. Um, right, so yes, I have reached level 100 XP. That was like two months ago, maybe, that I recorded that clip. Um, but yeah, anyway, I've been doing a few small things around, looking out for the farms, breeding the animals over there in the farm, uh, just flying around, worked some more on the map. I changed my mind about how I'm doing that, I'll show you in a sec, but I've just tried to fix the iron farm. Uh, I had a zombie up there and he died. I, th I think what happened is that cats spawn in the villages, well, with the villagers there, and the cats attack zombies if they're threatening the villagers. I don't know, but I'm guessing that's what happened. Either that, or if a zombie's wearing an iron hat, then the hat will break eventually in the sunlight and the zombie will burn to death. I haven't figured out exactly what happened, but my suspicion is the cat. So yeah, um, the zombie the zombie died, but this thing still produces iron very slowly. It's like two or three golems every month of day, I think. Um, I think I started out with less than the stack here, and yeah, I've already got a fair bit. I did just AFK for like two hours though. So this is this this isn't a very fast, but we don't need fast. Guys, we're we're like in the end game here. We're quitting this world soon. We don't need tons of iron. But we do need a steady supply of it nonetheless. Because we do use iron for beacons and well, mine cards. Uh but yeah, let me show you the map guys. Um I have I have decided to change my mind about it. So before we were going to do the full size maps, the 1 to 16 ratio ones, and uh, we we're gonna have them on the wall there. And then I updated from 1.12 to 1.14. And oh my God, you can place maps on, on the ground now like this. And yeah, that's what I'm doing. I, ha I have a big table here. That's how I originally wanted to do it. And uh, I think these are one to eight scale. Um, one to four scale, yeah. So they're, they're 16 times smaller, technically. Um, the sizes are weird. So a one to four map is four times, is not four times greater than a one to one map. It's actually 16 times greater. And uh, a 16, one to 16 size map is 16 times greater than a one to four size map, yeah. That's how it works. It's very complicated and I'm not even going to bother figuring out how to explain it. But yeah, I, I decided I don't need that big of a map and the world size is pretty big already. Uh, like I tried to I tried to do an overview of it. It's like a program that you can do it and makes like a, an interesting map from like this angle or something looking down at it. it. It's cool, but like it crashed. I'm guessing because this was too big or there was some error. I'm guessing there was some error, but it was probably, it was probably too big. Uh, so yeah, we're not going to make this world too big. And I think my second base can actually fit onto this map because I think it was just over here somewhere, like right here um, on the overview that I looked at. So yeah, I'm going to work on this some more off camera at some point. But yes, we are not doing a 1 to 16 map because that is overkill. I realize that now. At a later point, I'm probably gonna do something like that in a different world, but not quite so big because this is 16 by 9. Yeah, it's big. So yeah, anyway, I am playing offline. I have no skin right now, but that doesn't matter. I also added pressure plates here. That's nice. Um, and I added a little path over here because I realized I travel or like to walk um, from there to here to there and I don't like having to walk around and up all the time. So I added a different path over here. I think it's all right. Um, we can now fill this little bit here with some kind of trees, I guess. Um, what am I doing today? Uh, well, iron farm is technically fixed. So let's have a look at our board over here. Um, let's see, what do we have to do still? Um, pumpkin farm, we could do a pumpkin farm. I mean, I need to tear the whole thing down there and just fix it really. Uh, we could work on the tree farm, that's something, but that would take a little, little while to do, so maybe not. You know, I think I'm gonna work on the witch farm really. 
Uh, it's not too far from here, I didn't think. Uh, all I have to do is change it to a shifting floor and make them fall, and then it's fixed. And then we can have redstone for days, because I actually need redstone. So yeah, let me get on with that, and I'll get back to you when I've made progress. Alright, so I'm at the uh, witch farm here. Yeah, I forgot the name of it. And uh, I just went to get some glass, and I came back and there's a bunch of other mobs there. Now, I'm not 100% sure that I'm supposed to be getting that many other mobs other than witches. But I guess that's expected. Um, I'm just filling in the rest of the glass here. Spiders will cause a problem though. Uh, although I don't think other mobs will really be able to spawn other than witches once I actually get this properly done with whatchamacallum. With the uh, trapdoors in place. So that'll be alright. Okay, I think that's all the glass filled in, and all I really need to do now is place in the trapdoors, dig out that area, and hook all these pistons up to a clock, and then that'll be good. Yeah, that'll be good. Well, I do have witches in there, so that's good. Uh, I've dug out the hole, I just need to do the collection system, so I need to bring all the items up here and then sort them, I think. And then I have some stuff to do the timers. And that'll be good. I think I'm just going to do a hopper clock for the timer. I'm not going to bother with any automatic stuff. So yeah. Okay, so it's been a really long time since I built a hopper clock, but I think I've done it here. That's all good. Um, now I just need to hook it up to the lines there, and that, that will be working then, and we can try this out. Um, I've got the collection system done. Uh, thinking of how to hook this up to the rest of this best, I think if I take an output from there Yeah, an output from there I have an instant signal go to there and then a delay to there. Oh wait, no. No. What I should probably have is just an observer to send a quick pulse. Yes, yes, I need a quick pulse. I need some more blocks for this. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't do building very well on camera, so I'm just gonna do this off camera real quick here. Yeah, I forgot to add trapdoor, so I should probably do that right now before it's too late. Trapdoors in. The different colors are going to annoy you. All right, so this first layer is done. The timing is perfect. First try, so that's actually really cool. Um, and now I just need to do the rest of them. Uh, I need to do a slight delay, however, otherwise there's going to be issues. And it won't be as efficient, so delay time. I need to figure out how to do that. Alright, so I got the timing all in. It's a it's quite messy, but I don't really care. It's it's here to function, not to look pretty. So let me just uh, slab off some areas where mobs could potentially spawn. Um, so like there. And... Uh, oh. I think that is it. Just gonna slab off these corners. The lag is pretty real, I tell you. Um, all right, I think we should probably test it now. Uh, right, get rid of all of the light. Okay, and uh, I'm just gonna fly up onto that platform if I can. Um, And I'll AFK here for like a minute or two, and then I'll go down and see how many drops we have, if any. Okay, so I stood here for a little bit, and I know that mobs are definitely spawning there. I think there's some spiders spawning because 
I'm looking up here at the entities count and it started off with like 26 to 32 and now like it's staying at 32 plus so I think my spiders might have spawned and uh, that's what's causing the issue there they will be an issue um, for efficiency wise but I think if I was to be AFK here for a prolonged period of time they won't really make that much of a difference anyway but yeah let's let's go check out how many jobs we have if any um, kind of interested to know here oh poo -poo. right well I can see all the drops there um, right we need to uh, do a better job of doing stuff here but as you can see we're getting drops and actually this is better than I thought it was going to be honestly um, this is a lot more than I thought I would have can't even pick a tool up uh, we do have spiders there I think unless that's spawned on the outside uh, so that was probably the entity um, thing that I saw the entity rise I saw um, just mobs spawning around here that shouldn't be uh, I think that is it no that spiders are definitely in there and and mobs are only spawning like the mobs we don't want to spawn are only spawning on the top layer there for some reason um, I haven't seen a witch spawn on the top layer. Uh, I might need to lower this all by one layer, which would suck. Um, however, I think I've planned the drop well, and it should still work if I lower it by one block. Got some bones here. Okay. Uh, but yeah, this is this is cool. It works. I like that. I like that it works. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go around the whole thing and uh, basically make it mob proof. Uh, I forgot entities can, sp well, mobs can spawn on redstone. So I have to do something a little like that, I think. Uh, that should still go through, let me see. Yeah, okay, that works. Uh, and I've run, run out of stuff. All right, let let me be back. All right, so I have been AFK here for half an hour maybe, and uh, let's go check what's happened. I put a chest down there uh, to... That was maybe not the smartest idea if there were actually mobs around, but I put a chest down here to see how many items I can get. And disappointment. Uh, what's happened? Apparently nothing. Ooh, that's not good. I forgot to put stuff above the pistons. Um. Okay, this is something I need to work out. Um, how to fix, evidently. Why no drops at all? We had plenty the first time we did this, right? Huh. Maybe I built the platform too close to it? I don't know. Um, let me see what's happened here now. Okay, we got witches. They go down. Okay. All witches go down, and now we get stuff. So I think my platform was just in the wrong place there. Because um, we should get witches. And now we're getting stuff. Alright, I'm probably not going to work on this for a little bit now. Um, I mean, I'll... I'll work on it, but right now I'm taking a break for a week or so. I know it's been two weeks since I started recording this, so, you know, stuff happens. Maybe it's been three weeks, I don't know. 
But yeah, I'm just gonna leave this for now and I'll be back when I feel like working on it again. Right. I don't think I saw any which is on the top platform there. All right, that's it for now. I'll see you when this is done, I guess. All right, so it has been quite a while again, but I have pretty much did all of this and plus some more, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, I have been AFK up here on the platform for a little bit. I have lit up most of the caves. I fixed the witch farm, of course. Um, there's still a few little spots that I missed in the caves and I need to light up all of the above ground But it's mostly done. It's mostly done like this is getting respectable Respectable drop rates now, so I'm happy enough with that um, Let's see baby zombies are a problem uh, unless they despawn um, They do de all the mobs that don't fall down do despawn. They're just uh, a bit of a pain sometimes, but yeah, we we're getting quite a bit of stuff here. Uh, this has been maybe an hour or two that I was AFK, and this isn't 100% of the capacity of this farm, which will be which will be at when I light up absolutely everything. Uh, the reason I need to light up the surface is because otherwise at night the rates of this go to zero pretty much. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm probably uh, gonna finish working on this another time because I've already spent plenty of time on this. Uh, I did do an, an, an automatic system over there so that's all good. Um, and for now I'm just going to shut this off because it causes some lag. Um, kind of don't want any lag. Um, and it's also raining so that's not very helpful. But yeah, that's all good. Uh, if you're wondering how I lit up the caves and found the dark spots, um, basically I logged in on a I fired up another Minecraft instance with a different username which I just changed when loading up Minecraft and uh, yeah and then logged in with LAN which I set to be spectator so that was all fine uh, funny thing Minecraft actually or Mojang removed a feature from Minecraft where you can basically go to the config files and under your username cache or something there's a JSON file where you can basically change your username which will then be displayed differently in your uh, profile when you're logging in but they removed that it will now update that file whenever you try to play the game unless you play offline uh, so the way I got around that is I uh, fired up multi MC which I completely forgot even existed until recently and oh it stopped raining how lovely uh i fired up multi mc and i clicked launch offline and then that let me change the name to whatever i wanted it to be and yeah here's the other change i did guys um i f i fixed the iron farm earlier in the episode or like technically right before the episode but then i fixed it again earlier on and the change I did was I moved the lava block and the hoppers up by one block. No, that's not all I did, that's not all I did. Um, I made a sorting system over here as well because while I was working on the witch farm, halfway through the work on the witch farm, I went here and there was iron sitting on the hoppers. They were completely filled up. Like this farm is crazy fast. Um, and basically what I did is I have hoppers going around there to a sorting system. But I realized that if I was to make make a full sorting system, then as soon as one of the chests, one of these first chests backs up, so with either poppies in this chest, if the hopper backs up there, the entire thing will break. That is why only the poppies get sorted and the rest is just iron because that's the only other drop there is. Yeah, we're getting plenty of poppies and plenty of iron. That's not all the iron that was produced. I converted most of it into blocks already. And yeah, I'm thinking it's about time to end the episode now. So uh, I think that'll be it. Let me just sleep real quick. There we go. 
uh, been a very productive episode for me, I think. It, it's only taken a few months to do, of course, of course. But it's been very productive. I still have loads of work to do in this world before I end it. But I gotta say, I thought I thought the thought of the world ending would motivate me to work on it, but really it's made it worse. I have no motivation to play Minecraft at all now. But I am looking forward to whenever we're gonna be playing on a different world. By the way, if if you guys still have old farms like this that you haven't changed into the new farms, just put a zombie going around in a minecart because oh my god, this thing is so good. Like it's I would say it's about as good as if you were to just have four cells as they're called. Uh just like go watch Il Mango or something. But yeah, I would say this is about as good as having four cells worth two villages each in it with a zombie that goes around in a timed loop as you can see two iron golems right there how easy was that it's it's a very good alternative to rebuilding the entire thing so i suggest you do that yes it is time to end now so that is the wrong button thank you for watching and i uh, will see you all in the next one have a good day bye bye